Hey there, my lovely Leos. Getting ready to start your reading. This will be, geez, a timeless reading. These cards are flying out for you. Um, this will be a timeless reading, so whenever you see it, that is when you are meant to see it, okay? This will also be a general reading, so please only take what resonates. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and if it doesn't resonate, please check your other placements in your birth chart, okay? All right, so let's get started, my Leos. I asked for a song for you guys, and I got um, Not Afraid Anymore by Halsey. Incidentally, I believe that's on the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I don't know if it's written for Fifty Shades of Grey, but I think it's on the sound. Actually, I'm pretty sure that was on the soundtrack. So um, I don't know if just the words I'm not afraid anymore will mean something. You may want to go and look at the lyrics. Oh, look at that. Um, but um, yeah, discover your life purpose. All right. It's also a song that's very, it's very much about freeing yourself, honestly. That's what I remember about the song. It's just about being free, freeing yourself, free to explore, um, you know, just freeing yourself from a situation. And it, it can also be quite a sexual song. It just depends on what message is in there for you. But let's get started. Okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is dreams, and then I see love. I think somebody is heavily focused on you. I'm getting to have faith as well. Uh, faith, this card was actually in Sagittarius too, so you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius heavily placed in your chart somewhere. Uh, I see the card of entrapment over here, and then of course, discover your life purpose. So... Let's see. And by the way, guys, you know that energies can change as we begin to build on the reading and throw more cards. So just kind of flow with it. First of all, the first thing that's coming to me, though, is that you're heavily protected. Uh, I don't know if you've been through some kind of healing work or maybe you are some kind of healer or something. Look at this person. I mean, she's beautiful. She looks like a beautiful angel. It's being protected here. Somebody's looking over her. So I think that whoever uh, is viewing this reading is definitely being heavily protected um, as they either go through some stuff or just going, maybe you've already been through it. You could, it could be current. It could be something that you're actually coming out of, honestly, but somebody is watching you. Why do I keep getting that? So somebody is watching you really heavily. I feel like somebody also is wanting to provide some kind of protection for you. So maybe somebody has watched you go through something, kind of stood back and looked uh, regardless, I definitely get a very, very strong vibe here. Someone watching you as well as protecting you. Oh my God. And then I'm seeing this card about love. Look at this man looking down on this woman here. She's so unassuming and doesn't know, but he's literally staring, hard staring right down on her. And this is the card about love. So I think somebody is watching you that has some really deep, profound love for you. Perhaps they have not spoke up on it. Uh, at this point, by the way, this is a man looking at a woman does not have to be that way. Flip the energies as they need to be. If this is somebody who you've been involved with uh, in the past, or perhaps you just need to keep an open mind when it comes to love. This card here is definitely calling for you to continue to have faith, uh, either just in love, I think in general, right? In a past situation, I guess, or even in just, you know, something that you're wanting. If you're wanting to have love in your life, to bring it into your life, this is definitely telling you to have faith. This over here is also the card about dreams. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys have, uh, you dream quite a bit. Perhaps it would be worthwhile to kind of, I think you might be getting downloads actually in your dreams is what I'm getting for some of you. Some of you are also quite intuitive, I feel. Um, but getting downloads even in your dream, make sure that you're, I think it would do well for you to maybe keep like a dream journal or something and start to really kind of write that down okay you guys may have been very heavily focused either on a situation <sighs> why do i feel like this is some person around you i don't know um all right let's just go into it so uh, y'all may have been very uh focused on a situation somebody in this situation either you or your person okay has felt very entrapped okay trapped in their head trapped like they were not moving forward uh, in a particular situation, perhaps it's been quite stagnant. But when I see entrapment, I think about somebody who feels stuck. They feel like somebody is holding them back or some situation is holding, uh, holding them back or something, okay, is holding them back. They're not moving forward at this particular time. Generally, it's more perceived than actual, okay? So if it is something that's going on in your head or in your person's head, obviously, this is the card saying, you know, come out of your head. 
Uh, you can make movement. You just have to want to do it. Somebody, okay, so somebody's blocked as well. They don't feel like they can move forward. I don't know if that's you or them. If you're trying to move forward with someone else or vice versa, I think they feel like they, that can't happen at this time. Again, real or perceived, they're feeling like they don't have an in. Interesting. Okay, and then this card is all about discovering your life purpose. Okay, really getting in tune with your passions uh, in tune with the things that really make you happy. Uh, I feel like some, I definitely feel like I have some very creative people on here. I just heard writers. So I think writers, perhaps musicians, uh, singers. I don't know why I'm very drawn to the arts right now. Well, this person's actually playing a violin. So maybe, uh, did I say musicians? Musicians, something along those lines. Yeah, regardless of what it is, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever your life, perhaps it's just speaking. I definitely feel like somebody has not been speaking their truth. So um, perhaps it's speaking. You know, you could be a public speaker. You know, you can motivate other people. You could be a counselor. Whatever it is, it's saying to really start focusing and, and looking. And I think many of you have been doing this. You're really at a point where you're really trying to discover your life purpose here as well. So let's get into it. I'm going to separate the cards here by your energy today, Leo, and then your person, and then we can do the connective energy down the middle, okay? Okay, Spirit, what do we have for Leo, March 2022? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2022, only Leo's energy, please. Where's Leo? Leo, please give me Leo's energy right now. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think you're definitely moving. Look at this. What is happening here, Leo? Okay. A little bit more. I think you're you're being very strategic at this point. Um, doing something. You may also just be kind of moving in silence at this time. I feel like you're moving forward towards something. Goodness gracious, look at this. I feel like you're moving towards... Okay, so again, this could be you or this your person. Please do, like I said, flip the energies. But I feel like you are moving towards... Um, I feel like you're moving forward very quickly towards something. So you could be, you may have just started communicating with someone. Maybe it is a love situation. Perhaps this is a uh, reconnection or just for the first time. Um, if it's not in love, I feel it, but it is kind of falling under that. I tend to feel like it is. But if not, then I feel like you're moving very quickly towards something, perhaps even something new. You may be moving in silence here. Like I said, you're being very strategic about what you're doing. Uh, obviously it looks to me like it's some kind of higher commitment here. Um, you may be seeking a higher commitment here. This could also be your person making these moves obviously towards you, but I feel like whoever you guys have been healing. Okay. So maybe you went through a very deep healing situation. Uh, but more than anything, I feel like right now you're wanting to, I, I don't know why I'm getting like this could be reversed, but just take it as it resonates. It could also be the cross watcher, okay? You're wanting to really heal this uh, situation. I heard bring it back to life. So it might be a dead situation for some of you guys, or maybe it feels that way. Perhaps you haven't spoken in a long time. If not, uh, maybe you're just trying to heal so that you can move in to a new love story here, okay? Because maybe what you're really craving here is just a really higher commitment with someone else. Um, so whether it's new, like I said, or whether, whether it's some kind of reconciliation, it looks to me like you're getting very clear on what you want to happen here with another person, you know, or with someone new, regardless of another person. Let me get one more card on this, actually. Oh, yeah, definitely. So much movement in this. Okay, so if you're not moving towards someone else, someone's definitely moving towards you is what I'm feeling. There's your own energy showing up in your own reading with the sun card here. Okay, looking for, definitely looking for uh, some success. I also feel if this is a past person, this may be some illumination as well, okay? You want to come in and definitely illuminate some stuff. You've got two cards of movement here. We have the chariot and the eight of wands. 
Um, yeah, it's all about illuminating something, perhaps illuminating feelings, uh, illuminating, yeah, illuminating how you've been feeling, Ill illuminating things that have been hidden possibly in the past, what's been going on. Uh, also, I feel like somebody here could want to, if you've not relocated, somebody here could actually be open to relocation. Perhaps this is you or your person to actually be closer together in some way. Let me look at your person. Spirit goes and angels. Touch me about Leo's person. More energy for Leo's person here. So I have Cancer energy. I have Leo energy, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius thus far. Tell me about Leo's person. Oh, wow. Yeah. Person that was carrying around, it looks like quite a bit quite a bit for a while it looks like they're they're letting that go though let's see maybe this person had a lot of responsibilities perhaps they're walking away from a lot of that stuff perhaps they had a lot of things that were holding them them back in the past hmm. i feel like you could be dreaming about this person as well or vice versa that dreams card oh look at this Hmm. Let me get a few more. If this person's not having an issue, there we go. An issue with their work. We got two threes here too. Okay. So somebody is ready to, if this is a past situation, if this is not just a person that has been really weighed down by their past here, especially when it comes to a job situation, somebody could have lost a job actually. Um, but this could have also been someone who was carrying around quite a bit of burdens, all right? And they're ready to really let that go. The issue is I don't think that they've been working or willing to work on this situation or they're actually seeing you as a person that's not willing uh, to work on this situation. Perhaps you have went silent on them. <laughs> okay. And then we have the Six of Swords. Look at that. Let me see what's on the bottom here. Yeah. This is crazy. All right, your cards are actually quite good, but this, these other cards are kind of crazy over here. All right, so let me see. Yeah, somebody here has definitely been carrying a lot of burdens around. I feel like they have, they're letting that go. Okay, so whatever was holding them back uh, from moving forward towards you, all right, this person can very well be letting them go. Now, if this is you per, uh, pursuing another person, it looks to me like, you know, they would be willing, it looks like, to let go of whatever burdens you guys have been holding between one another that has kept y'all in this separate mode or perhaps they just in conflict, okay? I think it had everything to do, though, with not being willing to work on it in the past. Um, they may very well still see you that way as someone who's just not ready to or willing to really go uh, for round two or three or four, whichever round it is, okay, with them anymore, all right, but definitely I think that they're wanting to come out of their head here. They felt like they were in this very stuck position like this. This relationship was certainly quite stuck with you in the past. I don't think that they like that. I think that obviously they were in their head quite a bit not wanting to see. See, the, here's the thing about the sores that most people, well, anybody that knows Tara knows it, but other people may not recognize with this, okay? This person is not really chained to anything, right? This is all in their head. They're really just perceiving the worst, and it's just not even that bad of a situation. You know, there's that old adage, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% uh, how you um, react to it, okay? So when we're, when we're in our head like this, constantly assuming the worst, assuming the worst, assuming the worst, okay, then we tend to continue to create, you know, the worst scenarios in our head, and the truth is, all they had to do was take off this blindfold and really see, but they weren't willing to do that, so... What I have here is a person that was not taking a lot of action. They were just really being stuck in the past. But now they really miss you is what I'm getting with this three. They really miss your happiness. They miss, uh, I feel like, the love that you brought into their life. But also, I think you just really made them happy, okay? You guys had a lot of happy times, a lot of happy talks, okay, connections. I think that you were kind of there for each other, um, you, you leaned on each other through a lot of things. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know that you're that different from this person. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but I'm getting it very heavily. I don't know that you're that different. So even if you're different 
from you know an outside standpoint i think your souls are quite similar is what i'm getting i just feel like you guys are quite similar in nature regardless if you have any other differences okay but this person is definitely wanting to come out of their head i feel like they are out of their head now and just wanting this back really realizing and recognizing how uh, powerful this connection is but also how much you mean to them now if this is a brand new person um, it could be a person that has obviously went through some of these things, possibly even, like I said before, a job loss here, hopefully not, but, you know, maybe somebody who was carrying a lot of burdens with another job and, you know, maybe they're coming into your life at this particular time. They're wanting to put down all that anxiousness, it looks like, and, and really celebrate with you and, and enjoy your company in some way. Okay. Again, this is why I'm inclined to think this was a past person. I just feel like this person was just ensconced in conflict. There may have been a lot of conflict in your relationship. There could have been some serious arguments. That could have very well been uh, what took place here. And with the Six of Swords here, this could have been a person who um, they could have left in the past without saying a whole lot. Okay, just kind of left in the middle of the night like a thief in the night, so to speak. This is not the card for that. But you can see this person's got six swords down and they're just leaving. And it is the middle of the night. They're being guided by the moon. So I think that whatever happened here, maybe the person just left. Maybe the last time you spoke to them was at night. The last time you heard from them, in a sense, was at night as well. All right. I do also believe, though, that this person, whatever this conflict was, this person has felt it a lot and probably relived it as a person in their head, just relived it and kind of stayed fixated on that for a while, which I think did not help your situation whatsoever. Yeah. So if that is the case and probably held out, right, they feel like that this is also a card about winning at any cost. All right. Could even be fighting dirty in a sense. They may have done that with you. Whatever it is, I feel like this person has really held out. Okay, they've held out too. That may have actually surprised you or you to them, however this energy goes. Um, regardless, I think that they want to, you know, with this six of, six of Swords here, somebody actually moved away from the connection in the past and could have even moved away with that card, to be honest with you. We could also look at this as moving away, wanting to move out of that conflict and certainly away into calmer waters. All right. If they're not viewing you this way and these energies are flipped, Leo, then it looks like you are viewing them this way. Somebody's about to make a move. All right, you have two cards here definitely of movement. Again, I've got that in Sagittarius reading. How crazy. Okay, let me get the connective energy here for Leo and their person, please. Connective energy for Leo and their person, please. Somebody wanting to apologize. Yeah, there's definitely about to be some movement. Someone certainly wants to apologize. I think it's whoever's up here. <laughs> Sorry, but that's your cards that came out, Leo. So maybe it is you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, look. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we have, again, we have more fire energy here. You may also be dealing with another fire sign. Uh, somebody here definitely wants to apologize. Okay. I think they... This is what they're thinking about, all right? Coming in, giving some small gesture of love, certainly giving some kind of apology about what has happened, perhaps a conversation with all this movement card. Their goal is to really heal this situation, okay? I think this person's been focused a lot on higher commitment. There could have also very well been differences in your relationship. Maybe this person was really held back due to... Um, or you as well could have been held back due to the differences, okay? Again, we can go into differences. There's so many different di differences, right? There could be age. It could be religion. Um, you know, where you guys are from. It can be ethnicities. Differences could, you know, that, that encompasses a lot of different things. But whatever it was, I think this person now is not really thinking about those things, okay? Perhaps they've gotten some kind of higher perspective here also with the star card. Um, but regardless, they want this communication to resume, and this is their goal, communication to resume. And also, I, I know I got earlier about relocating. Maybe somebody is thinking about relocating to be closer together in some way. 
knowing that whatever happened here, they're going to need to apologize. I really feel like obviously now I know this is a past person, but whoever is coming in, I think they're going to take you guys by surprise. Okay. Um, it may just simply come out of the blue. You may not even see it coming. So this is definitely going to surprise you because somebody's world is being rocked too. I'm not sure who that is. I don't know if that's you or them. If you moved, then that would certainly be them or vice versa, okay? I really feel like something has taken this person by surprise. But I also feel like they're going to take you with surprise, by surprise with some communication that literally comes out of nowhere, okay? This person could have been foolish in the past, but that's not what I'm getting in this. I really feel like this person's ready to take this leap. They're no longer really kind of sitting uh, in all of this anymore, okay? Just stuck in their head, assuming the worst, fear of moving forward, again, because they don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, sitting in... <laughs> this card is just funny to me, okay? It's got like literally people laid out all around him, right? Swords stuck right in his stomach. It's just the craziest card, right? Anyway, it might have gotten a little bit volatile between you or at least seemed that way. Certainly to this person, it did. All right, but they do want to move away from that. Uh, and into calmer waters, and I feel like they're ready to make a leap forward towards you. Why? Because they see, first of all, they're very, very sexually attractive to you, or attractive to you, perhaps, but also attracted to you. Uh, see you as really thriving and passionate. Um, yeah, just really beautiful. Someone who attracts a lot of energy, perhaps, not energy, a lot of people, a lot of attention here. Uh, I'm, of course, noticing the animals around this person, too. So maybe maybe you may also be like a big animal lover. You may even have a very small dog around you. Um, anyway, you know, they're wanting to move towards you. Again, they're so drawn to you, very drawn to you, okay? I'm getting a lot of chemistry here, though. So I think very physically attracted as well. Um, but I believe there's love here, too. I really miss what you guys used to have together, okay? And I'm not looking at that, by the way. A lot of people look at Three of Cups and they automatically assume that that is uh, a third person. I'm not necessarily getting that. Um, I'm just getting that they miss all the happiness that you guys used to have in your relationship and the celebration in some sense. Maybe it was like the high point um, of their day, like when they talked to you, when they heard for you. Yeah, look at this. This person is really longing for you. Okay, it does say past love. All right, so this is definitely a past love here. Uh, but somebody's had an epiphany in this situation. Perhaps they've been through their own stuff, a bit of an awakening, if you will. They understand uh, what the connection is, how strong it is, how powerful it is, what they need to do to really get it back on track. Something has happened that's rocked this world, this person's world. Okay, and I keep wanting to go, I don't know what's happened here. Did this person have... I don't know. I, you know, normally I just get like, you know, something surprising happened. Something was built on a, a, you know, faulty foundation. But, you know, this person could have had something really severely happen since you guys, if you guys have not been in contact, maybe something's happened to them or close to them that's made them really start to question uh, their life. Um, I don't know, just kind of break them loose from some of their really, really stubborn ways up here and things that have had them stuck and, and really shook them. I feel like shook them kind of to the core here to where they've come to some really heavy realizations about uh, what they're wanting and why they're not willing to be held back anymore because something is pushing somebody here into action. Okay. This person may not have even been somebody who would have even apologized in the past. That may have been the issue with the situation, but I mean, I feel like they're coming in with an apology. Yeah, only you. Fixated, attached, hypnotized. Also came out in Sagittarius' reading. Again, if you're dealing with one, you may want to look at that. Or if you have it heavily placed in your chart. But this person is really thinking about you and only you. Okay, so if you think that this person is out there just running the streets and, and maybe if they was doing that in the past, I don't feel like they've do, they're doing that anymore. Again, something is shaking them to the core. I even heard relocation. So if you guys are at a distance, they may be willing to relocate to be with you. Yeah, vows. Wanting commitment, okay? Oh, shoot. Oh, <laughs> all right. So it says free period. Somebody's ready, obviously, to take a risk here with this situation, okay? Maybe this person is usually, maybe they're usually more rigid than they are now. 
um, and you're the free spirit or vice versa, whatever it is, they're ready to kind of jump out there. I think they love that about you too. Perhaps you are a free spirit. Perhaps you're somebody who does take risks. Uh, well, you're Leo, right? So <laughs> you don't have an issue going after what you want generally. So maybe they see you as that. And that is something that that is really, really attractive. I think they find about you. I think that maybe they want to be a part of that. They might also want to lock it down in a sense with these vows here. Okay, they may want to have some kind of commitment with you. Take this to the next level. Something that they were not offering you. Uh, before that you really may have wanted or maybe you thought it was leading in that direction regardless they're heavily fixated on you now and i really think it's due to something that happened and and again i don't get this off of this card but i get something almost tragic so i don't know were they in a in a car accident i mean was there something that almost took their life like something happened here okay in the past they may have felt very stuck we talked about that right kind of captive in their own thoughts i think this person generally is one that that tends to think about things not going right in a sense they focus on the negative so to speak um maybe bad things have happened maybe they see a lot of bad things and that's why yeah but they're really hoping okay for this to come back into to fruition this card is a card about manifestation too. okay a person who's waiting a person who's hoping a person who's really just trying to manifest this situation back into being this person is not looking at other people just so you know okay I, I i don't know why i get this distinct feeling like maybe you thought that in the past or maybe they were doing that in the past whatever it was they've dropped that i feel like they're only looking at you only you okay so even if they went out there and, and I'm going to tell you, I feel some could have very well done this been seeing other people. I don't feel like they're doing that anymore. I really don't. I feel like they have let that go. They're really focused on them and bringing this situation back together. I think they're trying to manifest you. You're having a lot of thoughts about this person and you're going to know who I'm talking about. I feel whoever this is for. If you're having a lot of thoughts about them suddenly or even more so could, could even be obsessing have when it comes to them um i think that is why they are heavily heavily focused on you even if you guys have not been in contact in a long time really heavily reminiscent probably looking at photos perhaps old messages that really i keep getting really missing your talk so whatever you guys were doing even if it was via you know text email whatever i just you know phone it doesn't matter i just feel like they're really missing that i heard late night talks look at this twin flame this may very well be a twin flame connection that would explain everything <laughs> that would explain everything very difficult to pull away from those even though we do try well, I'm not speaking for everybody, but hang on. I thought I had a card flip. Let me see. Let me see. I guess not. Okay, it'll come up. What else, Spirit? What messages do we have for my Leos in relation to this situation? Oh my God, like a million. All right, I'm ready for more than just text. Came out. I just said, even if you guys were talking about text, let me. Pull these up, obviously. I'm not going to take these. Wow. You know, it's weird. I just heard that this person has held back so much. They may not have even been talking, but now I feel like they have plenty to say. Hmm. I, I'm also feeling a person that may kind of keep to themselves a little bit, too. So if you know that to be kind of in their personality, in their nature. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. I have another Aries. I have Sagittarius over here. What else? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to miss my chance with you. That's why they're making all these moves right now. This is all... If this is not already occurring, I think it's going to be occurring soon. You just have too many movement cards here. This person is looking for success. Okay, they're looking to bring this back around. They want this to come back to fruition. They want success with you. They may also see you thriving in some way and want to be a part of that. What else here? Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. I get that for sure. 
Okay, so this says secret. It's on the bottom. Maybe this situation was kind of kept secret. Maybe, maybe you guys kept it between the two of you. Maybe other people don't know. Again, if it was online or long distance, I could see that. Even around each other, perhaps there's some kind of taboo about, around this. Perhaps if you guys work together or you know, run within the same crowd and you just didn't want people to know, or perhaps there was something else that prohibited you guys from telling other people. But look, we have another card of overthinking. This has really kept this person disconnected, I feel like, from you because they do overthink so much. Okay, I think that they really stay in their head and due to them staying in their head, I think that that has really created a lot of... Um, well, definitely a lack of movement, okay? But also an imbalance, because for some reason, I keep thinking this person thinks the worst. Yeah, you were so unexpected. So again, this situation could have started off very, very casually and then just turned into something I heard blew up, blew up into something much bigger that was very unexpected, okay? Perhaps for both of you guys. And um, it may have taken a while to really kind of come to terms with what all of this was and why the feelings were so deep and why you were so heavily connected, especially if you are twin flames or even just past life. They're all very strong connections. Um, and both of you may have needed to work through some stuff to make this come together. But look, the card says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. The time has come. I'm not afraid. Oh, wow. The song is I'm not afraid anymore. I just thought about this. So maybe this person, I bet they were. I said they could be pessimistic. They, you know, that's a fear-based emotion. Um, maybe they were holding back because they were afraid. Afraid of the situation. Afraid of, especially if they're pessimistic, afraid of what could go wrong instead of thinking about all of the beauty and the connection and what could go right. I'm not afraid anymore, so they're willing to step out of their shell. Hmm. Okay, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person may be, want oh goodness, maybe wanted to come in and kind of uh, take you somewhere. Or maybe you guys just need to get away for a little bit and, um, you know, work on your connection, talk about things, things that have happened. I'm trying to see what flew over here. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Yeah. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. I'm going to say that's for both of y'all. Okay. I just think you guys need to really uh, know that, understand that. We have an archer here, another Sag. Good grief. So... <laughs> Definitely that you deserve love. Okay, make sure that you're loving yourself and understanding that first and foremost. If you've both been doing that, that would also make sense why this is able to kind of uh, come back together right now or soon. All right, one more message, please. I really feel a lot of communication needs to happen in this situation. A lot of things were left unsaid. A lot of things are in the dark. It may have actually brought up... You know, fears within both of you in terms of what was happening. Uh, and maybe you just kind of created your own story as we often do uh, when something's not being explained. But especially if you, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. Especially if you are vegging on these readings, okay, watching too much. You know, you'll walk away thinking your person's been sleeping with a million people and got an STD. I mean, there's so much craziness in some of these. I mean, I'm sure that's who they're reading for. But seriously, if you don't know it to be true for you, please disregard anything that's not for you as always. These readings through every single person who reads are general for the general collective. So you're going to be picking up a lot of different energies. But this is talking about chemistry. I think it says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Um... And I don't think, I think that's always been the case. I think you've always been heavily attracted, whether they were a friend and now they're coming to terms with this as much more. Maybe you both have at some point, um, but there is a great deal of chemistry here. And I was getting that with this Queen of Wands energy too, if you recall, about uh, how much attraction was here. Heavy, heavy attraction. So I'm going to get some initials. This may or may not be for you or your person. If it does, maybe it will help you a little bit. Recognize them in the reading. Recognize yourself. B, D, Z. I always get a Z. O, E, C, 
G. I got another E. And then I got the number three. So one of you maybe you might have a three in your birthday. Uh, maybe born on the third. Maybe something happened in March. Maybe this person is coming in in the month of March. Okay. Just however three resonates for you. You'll have to let me know. Maybe that's how long you guys have been apart. Three days, three months, uh, three weeks, three years, something like that. Anyway, you'll have to let me know in the comments. But this looks beautiful, honestly. Somebody's definitely ready to move forward. I mean, that's what I'm getting from this. And they know that they're going to have to humble themselves and actually make an apology. So if this person was not willing to do that in the past, please know that they're, they are they know what needs to happen at this point. And I feel like they're dropping all the, the things that have kind of kept them stuck in the past so that they can move forward and be able to do that. Because what it, what it takes precedence over all this ego is the love. Okay, and they definitely want to show you love. They don't want to lose this opportunity. So um, that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you, Leo. If it does, please don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys the next time. Thanks, Leo. Bye.